Good afternoon. Um, this is the Heritage Preservation Commission meeting for Monday, February 27th. Before I call to order, I would like to um, welcome our new member, Ron. Thank you. And what's your last name? Root Log. Okay, Ron. <laughs> um, I'd like us all to introduce ourselves so he knows who he's dealing with. Jim Ward, one city councilor. Al Stabenow. Howard Carlson. Debbie Zahn. Jeannie Leedy. Elwood Zabel, building official. Okay. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Um, has anybody had a chance to read all the minutes? We'll have a approval of those. I make a motion to approve the minutes for December 19th of 2022. I can have a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> All right. Is there, excuse me, is there anything you need me to do? I'm the secretary now, and I, if there is, let me know. You can have you sign the meeting. I, I've been informed that yep. basically it's videotaped. And, yep. yep. Okay. Yep. Basically sign the minutes afterwards. That's it. Yep. Okay. So let me know what you need from me. Elwood will, will keep you posted on Elwood what's going will. on. Okay. <laughs> right? Yep. Okay. Okay, we have a design review from Patterson's Diamond Center. Yeah, in your packet, um, it's a design review for Patterson Diamond Center, 117 North Minnesota. Um, this is coming after a minor accident downtown where a car ran into the front of the building. So they decided to do some updates to it. Um, in your packet is a rendering of the front of the building as they're proposing for the new um, look of it. And also in your packet is what it currently looks like. Um, back in the day, what it looked like and what a rendering of a potential renovation would look like for that. And we have Lewis here from AAR Construction that can answer any questions for you because we're limited on information that I got from the applicant on products, um, colors, that kind of stuff. My question is, what's the material that's in between the windows? Oops, I'm going to step up the microphone, yeah. just state your name. Uh, Lewis with AAR Construction. Um, we're looking at doing an EFIS face on the outside of it, so it's almost as much as a stucco in there. Okay. Um, just to clean up and, um, you know, they just are looking after the incident. We wouldn't be able to match the bricks that were already ran into there. Mm -hmm. So in order for us to clean it up, we're looking at doing a total remodel of the front face of the building there. Okay. So is it going to match the, well, that, that's going to take care of this above Patterson sign right now. That's all stucco from there down. So that'll be the same material. It'd be similar. Yes. Okay. And I, I did notice the one I, it's not on here. The, the picture, the rendering was supposed to look like granted. It's not to scale, right? No. Okay, so we're looking at tall. Do you roughly have a rough dimension of what those tall, skinny windows are going to be? I, off the top of my head, I don't remember. Um, you know, I could definitely forward uh, Elwood more information on that. Um, I don't remember off the top of my head there. Um, I do know they're about three foot wide, um, so they're taller, skinnier. Um, and we'd be leaving them about six inches off of the sidewalk there. Mr. Lewis, when... Is it Lewis? Yep. Okay. When they chose to create this design, were they not aware that they had a historic building in a historic district? I don't believe they were. Because do you agree with me that this is a very modern um, stylization? If you look at this packet, one of the pictures that are on it is uh, a mock-up of what the historical building could look like if they had chosen to go with um, a more historic design feature. Uh, do you know what I'm talking about? Have you seen this picture? Uh, I don't believe so. Well, it's in our, our booklet that we, where they proposed what could be done with some of the buildings, and I know that yeah. came out quite a few years ago. Okay. But I do like that look a lot better. And I, I'm, I'm going to guess above 
the, the windows could probably be about that size, but then above here, I said, I'm sure there was, yeah. a lot of times they had the little glass tile up there in the old days. I can't tell off of this picture if that's the case, but. I have a question. Anybody been to Mankato? Is this actually what the storefront looks like in Mankato? I don't know that either, because uh, they're inside the mall, aren't right. they? Or they used to be. Yeah. To me, it's really an unfortunate um, opportunity if, you know, an accident kind of knocked out the 70s look, and then they choose to go more modern instead of towards the historic district goal of what this commission is all about and for. Do you guys agree with that? I agree. I, I mean, I, I've got a question for the contractors. You've looked at it. He, does he have those pictures in front of him? The three windows, can that even be done? Elwood, do you know, are those two, those two arches that come down, are those actually bearing or not? No, they, yeah. They're, they're just, at it, I don't think they're bearing. No. They're not. Okay, the, okay. Nope. Like most of the storefronts, there's that um, little goes a, I beam across the front. Little goes little across, door. okay. Yeah. But what I'm trying to get at is like the chamber building. Remember that we exposed the glass yeah. block that was on top up there? Yeah. And I'm going to assume that we don't know what's underneath here, though. That's just the problem. Like I said, the rendering that they gave us. I think it is. kind of looks like it. It looks like it. So, so, Mr. Lewis, I take it that you got this picture with the, the, the diamonds and the, the black and the gray uh, presented to you, and then you're just all about the construction of it, correct? Or were you a part of the design? No. Nope. Okay. I think for me, I'd like to talk to the Pattersons themselves to, to see if we couldn't convince them to go towards a more historical design, especially since construction has not been locked and loaded. No um, materials have been ordered, not correct? Not this time. Okay. Is that okay with you guys? Uh, are you looking at a spring start? Yes. Weather gets nice? Correct. Okay. I mean, I'll be honest, as submitted, no. no. I mean, I just, uh, what it's going to look like, the, to scale, uh, the old picture showing there were more like two bigger windows, and even the rendering. Yeah. And Mr. <coughs> Lewis, we're excellent partners. So if there is a priority for time that we need to do, and we need to meet specially so that we can get things going, our our people here absolutely would do that okay. for the Pattersons. We care very much so that businesses thrive, but we also care about the historic district. Great. And Understandable. Okay. Yep. Yep. I just have a question. When you said meet with them to see if they would be willing to do something, do they tell us what they're going to do or we tell them what we want them to do? I, I say it like that because it's to my understanding they didn't even know that there right. were historic I district don't. requirements and... I don't believe they did okay yep. yeah so I want them uh, to come forth and at least get the education of what the expectations are to meet the historic district mm -hmm. designs and when you're talking with like the you said there's a photo of kind of what the updates go to Elwood's and he'll show you on his computer right there it is in our packet right now what it mean I mean it doesn't mean identical it has to be that yep. But that's why I asked you the width of these windows. Right I just got three windows in front of me. Are they three feet, four feet, five feet wide? Is the door a solid wood door? Do you know? In there right now? No, the, their, the their proposal. proposal. Oh, their proposal, yes. Okay. So to get to the apartments upstairs, they're going to just have a one flush door instead of having it countersunk in like it was? Well, that, has to, that will still have to say countersunk or sunk in there because of the slope of the concrete going in okay. there. Okay. So I have to, so that rendering there was, we originally we were going to take out that concrete um, and then run it directly straight in there. Well, we realized that we wouldn't be able to do that. So then we would still have the counter sunk in door, and then we'd still have the apartment door there as well. Yeah, two, two entrances. Correct. yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. See, now that, that's no, totally different than the picture I'm yeah. looking at. Correct. What yep. you just explained to me. Yep. So that was the one thing, and I, I don't know if I briefly did talk to Elwood on that, but uh, we would still have to leave that counter sunk in there. Okay. So there would actually be, on this proposed, there would be another window in where that's counter sinking in. You know, when we yep. were, they were looking at the similar size for that window there as well. 
And in, in your estimate, I mean, like these windows, if I'm like all these buildings downtown are built, do you know how high they are? How high they were going to go? I, off the top of my head, I don't remember. I apologize. Okay. It almost looks like it would be to the length that it was because it matches up with the doors. I mean, if you look at the original building, well, I, that's what we need to find out. <laughs> I wonder if they had an architectural design do this, or did they I jump this up themselves? I believe this is their storefront in the mall down in, Man in Mankato, for some reason, where their store is. But if it's still in the mall, it, it's in one of those corner kiosks, yeah. you know, like things. So they really don't have a so-called storefront. Right. This is interior. There could be an interior part, yeah. Because the, the doors don't look um, like they're exterior doors. No. Well, I hate to nitpick a design until, you know, I, I think that we should make a motion to table this until we can talk to them about the historic preservation requirements. Okay. Are you okay with that? That's fine. And then if we want to go forward, you know, if we want to get together again, is that something I contact Elwood and Right. Yeah. Just we'll just schedule a special meeting. I'm positive if we, need we to. can get a quorum for a special meet not to deter you. Yep. Yeah. Okay. But also then please will you review the historical preservation uh, okay. Yep. And then bring that will. to them. Yep. For absolutely. Us. I can okay. do that. And I guess for colors too. Color, uh, uh, the met if, if they're going to be metal windows, the color of them, or are they uh, going to be, gonna be dark, dark browns? Them, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. But again, you see what we're asking because none of that really submit. I had to ask the building official, okay, what type of material is that? Yep. Yep. I did too. It looked okay. like tin at first. I right. <laughs> if we could just get a, a pile more of information. Yes. And then I think we can... Then get it, probably get it okayed. Okay. Okay, so you're looking for a motion to table it I think until we go back and talk with them. Yes. yes. Do we need a motion to table? Yes. Yes, okay. we do. I make the, that motion because I think I kind of said that already. I'm not yes, sure. Yes, you did. Mm -hmm. All right. Support. Any more additional questions about anything? Otherwise, I need a second. Second. All approved. Aye. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Thank you. All right, Elwood for a city report. I have nothing. And I have nothing either. So, Elwood, my only thing is, how come nobody knows that we have a historic district <laughs> downtown? They're, Don't you think? Most of them do, but like you take somebody owning that building from out of Nuam, they don't. Oh, okay. And until their tenant tells them, hey, we got to do this, which if they came in for a permit or whatnot, Elwood lets them know that. Okay. Well, we yeah. still have owners. I living in for, Hawaii for that own a building downtown and don't know. I asked for more information a couple different times, and this is the amount I got. All right. So, okay. I, okay. Yeah. Thank you all. This meeting is adjourned. No. Nope. Oh, excuse Could me. I just ask a question. Yes. It's being new, um, is the intent of the historic district to keep a German theme? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. German theme. No, we've got different architectural. I know. Rendering is downtown. It's not all German. That it's not. Right. Yeah. Okay. When the when the professionals oh God, I can't think of his name, Elwood. Um Tom Zahn. Zahn. Zahn and yeah. one the other one uh, Daniel Hoisington. Hoisington. The Reese who are very good at it. They went through that, spent quite a while on it. We retroed it once, I believe. Yeah, we updated here in twenty eighteen. Did you get a chance to look through the commercial setting historic district booklet? The booklet's that, very good. It'll it'll yeah. it'll you, answer every question. He hasn't got one yet. I've got okay. one for him. All right. Yeah. It'll answer every question that, you have. Just give you a better idea of yeah. what exactly we're trying to do. So now, how does how does this work with? I don't know how many of you were down with the consultants that were here this summer. Oh, with a comprehensive plan. Right. Um, I mean, what did they come with? Did they want us to continue with a theme or? No, they're just they're looking more for what they can do to revitalize downtown, to bring in businesses, apartments, whatever. Um, they're they're working with keeping with HPC to keep the her heritage or the historical buildings, but they're not going to have any particulars 
from the comprehensive plan. It's more, it's gonna be coming out of the downtown guidelines. Because I know we went on a tour downtown and there were quite a few comments on some of the buildings that they just didn't fit in. Well, you know, I, I think a commission's big job is to, you know, keep historical buildings from being torn down, to keep solar panels from going in front of a, a 1910 building. But, you know, there's, there's like this whole spectrum of, of how you can react and, and, and opinions and businesses and things like that. But it really is kind of the respect of the integrity of the style of architecture so that that element of quaintness that makes us so unique sticks around as long as possible. Right? But again, all those different architectural buildings are in that booklet, the Commercial Center Historic District. I mean, mainly it prohibits somebody from throwing vinyl siding on the front of their brick building downtown, which we do have a few. Yeah. When exactly was the Historical Preservation Commission put into play? 96. Uh, so some of the stuff, work that's been done was done before there was a, our commission going correct. on. So that's why you see some of the stuff that you do that we're trying to correct. So. Oh. And if Patterson's? goes from that 70s front because of this accident to that, that vintage look, wouldn't that be a victory? Oh, I, I, it would be so be lovely. Yeah. And that is so much the direction where I hope our commission works hard to go that way. And I know it's not always cheapest, and I know it's not easy, but it certainly is a more powerful downtown if we all work towards it. I agree. I mean, the people have to understand that, and maybe they do, but... We're unique and we have to stay unique. Yeah. Yeah. Again, read the, take a couple of days, read the, it, it'll explain all of that to you. Yeah, take the time to, even just looking at the pictures will give you a better uh, concept of what we're trying to look for. So, any more comments? No. This meeting is adjourned. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm off to the final.